Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. Do you know? How to create a clickable keypad in Algadu. In this keypad, when you click a button, it changes the digit, as you can see. This same way you can create a calculator in Algadu. Here I have used color-based segmented digits, the number you see in calculator screen. You can also use simple text-based numbers, which will be a lot simpler than this segmented color-based number method. My next lesson will be about text-based digits in Shala. I will also make a video about how to make a working calculator in Algadu. In today's lesson, you will just learn, how to create a clickable keypad like this one. So let's begin. Bismillah Rahmane Rahim. First, let's draw the segmented digit, 8. To draw number 8, we use the box tool to make the 7 segments of the number 8. First draw a single rectangle box. Then use the knife tool to cut its corners. Make a clone of this segment, and then mirror it. Put it in front of the first segment drawn. Select both the segments. Create a clone of both of them. Now rotate them at 180 degree angle with rotate tool. Drag both of them, and put them below the first two segments. Now we have four segments. Now draw another box for the bottom segment. Cut its edges with the knife tool, and delete the cut edges pieces. Make a clone of this segment, and rotate it. Then drag it to the top of the number. Now we are only left with the middle piece of the digit. Draw a box in the center of the number. Cut its edges. Delete the extra pieces. Select all the segments, and glue them to the background. Now change the color of the segments to whatever color you desire. I made it brown. Delete the ground. This is an optional step. Draw 10 square boxes with the box tool. You can change the color of the boxes if you want to. Right click on the first box. Go to text in the menu. Type 1, in the given field, number 1 will appear on the box. Repeat the same method for all the 10 boxes, and type numbers from 2 to 9, and 0, in the boxes. Select the boxes. Right click. Go to text. Now increase the text scale and font resolution. The numbers on the boxes will become smoother and larger in size. Now draw a box over the digit. Move it to the back of the number. 
This represents the screen in which the number appears in calculator. This is also an optional step. You can change the color of the screen, so that it matches the real calculator screen color. I didn't like the brown color of the digit. So I changed it to dark red color. You do not need to do this. Now open the console area. This can be opened by pressing the F10 key on your keyboard. Here we will create 7 variables for the 7 segments of the digit. These variables will store the color of the segments. Create the first variable for the first segment, by typing this, and press enter. Create a second variable by typing this. Scene.my part of the variable must be the same for all the variables. Only the last part of the name, must be different for all the 7 variables. Create the third variable by typing this, and press enter. In the same way, create all the 7 variables. In each of these variable names, we store information for the color. The information of the color are specified inside the square brackets, with 4 numbers. I have used one here. You can type any number between 0 and 1, for each of these 4 numbers inside the brackets. Now open the script menu for this segment of the number. Go to the update field. Type this and press enter. Here we have set the value of the color to the variable 1, we created in the console area. Now open the script menu for this segment. Make the value of the color property equal to variable number 2, you just created in the console area. Now open the script menu for this segment and type this in the update field, and press enter. Open the script menu for this segment, and type this in the update field, and press enter. Repeat the same procedure for all the segments of the number, and set the color values to different variables, you created in the console area. Now open the script menu for this box. Go to on click, property. Here, type this code. Press enter. You can copy this code for later use. I forgot to glue all the buttons to the background. So let's do it now. Button number is set now. If you click on this button, the number, 1, will appear on the screen. Let's remove the border of the segments. Now go to the script menu of the second box. Go to the onclick property. Type this code, and press enter. If you have copied the previous code, you can paste it here, and then make changes in the code and press enter. Copy and paste method, will make your job easier and faster. Click on the box. Number, 2, has appeared on the screen. Now go to the script menu of the third box. Type this code in the onclick property area, and press enter. I am using the copy and paste method. Click the number 3. It will appear on the screen. Now open the script menu for the fourth box, and type this code, and hit enter. Press 4 now. I have made a mistake in the code. Let's change it. Now it's OK. In the same way, type the codes in onclick property of script menu of each box. For number 5 box, type this code and press enter.
For number 6 box, type this code, and press enter. For number 7, type this. For number 8, use this code. For number 9, use this code. For number 0, use this code, and hit enter. Let's press each box, to see, if it works or not. See, it's working perfectly. The seven segments are very close to each other. They do not look like a real calculator numbers. Let's create some distance among the segments. Drag each segment, farther from the adjacent segments, so that some space is produced between them. Now it looks a lot prettier and close to the real calculator digits. So that was all for today. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video with your colleagues. Bye.